In this video, um, I just started a new project, made a drafting view. And what I wanted to show you was if we create a filled region, which again is just like a hatch in AutoCAD. So I'm just setting the boundary. This is going to be a diagonal cross hatch, that's fine. Um, and let's say I'm not happy with this hatch, and I come into here, I go edit, I'm going to duplicate. I'm just going to call this um, how to. Hit OK. And I go to my fill patterns. And this is what I'm limited to right now. So for my drafting patterns, I don't have all that much. So I'm kind of missing out and sad that you know I don't have everything that AutoCAD has. But it's very easy to get AutoCAD hatches directly into Revit. And there's just a couple of changes we have to make to the pattern file. So the first step here is to actually locate the pattern files of AutoCAD. So the best way to locate that is if you go to your Windows Explorer. I'm just going to go to Documents here. Go to your C drive your local drive here, and go to Users. Um, if it's This is Windows 7, so it, I think it's a little different for uh, XP. I think it would be under Windows and then Users. But for this example, it's under Users, and Sean C, this is mine right here. So I'm going to jump in here, go to App Data, Roaming, and then under Autodesk ACA 2012, jump in here to Support, so it's buried pattern. So here's all the pattern files I have for AutoCAD. Um, and one of them you'll see is this site work grass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this because I don't want to mess up anything I have in AutoCAD and paste it to my library of, of new pattern files that I'm going to have. And I accidentally brought water. I wanted to bring grass. That's no big deal. I can just grab that, copy paste. Alright, now I have the right one. Delete that. So, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and jump in here, right click, and say open with notepad. And this is basically the information that defines this hatch pattern. Now there's a, some information that Revit wants um, that is not provided in here. And this is basically what you're going to have to add. One is the units. And for this one, this drafting pattern, units are going to be millimeters. So I'm going to type uh, colon percent sign units, there we go, equals millimeters there. And then I have to tell it that the type is a drafting. Okay, and then just make sure you save this. So with that saved, I'm going to close out of that, and now in Revit, I can create this new, I'm just going to call it grass, and I want to change this to custom, oops, should have uh, waited to type it, I'm going to hit import, and I'm going to browse to where it's saved, which is conveniently right here, I'm going to click on this, hit open, In preview, it's a little dense right now, so I'm going to jump the scale up to, uh, we'll try 3.5. It's a little better. Let's try 5. Okay, so here's my scale here. Hit OK. Apply. OK. So now I have this grass hatching pattern in Revit. If I didn't add that, it would give me an error when I tried to import it. It would say no drafting uh, hatch pattern types found, but just a quick way to get any hatch pattern from AutoCAD into Revit.